Hi, and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a horror movie review, and I'll be having a look at the movie Splinter. So Splinter is a rather disturbing body horror movie. It tells the story of a young couple going away to celebrate their anniversary of the weekend camping, when unfortunately they're carjacked by two criminals who are on the run for the law and want to make a run for the border. So along the way, with all four of these characters in the car, they end up stopping at a petrol station, the whole area seems to be affected by some kind of unknown type virus. And this thing seems to transmit through various different living organisms. So unfortunately there's someone at this gas station who has already got infected and ends up infecting one of the group. And essentially from there it's ultimately a siege movie with the survivors holed up in this petrol station or these sort of disgusting kind of thing-like creatures trying to get in from the outside. So the plot is fairly simple ultimately, and it's, it really is just a group of survivors holding up again in this petrol station, trying to defend themselves from the outside attack from these kind of, and what ends up being these disgusting looking creatures. However, despite being fairly simple, it's actually very, very effective and a, and a very sort of disturbing body horror. And I mentioned it before, this, this film very much to me is like the, 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 the John Carpenter classic, The Thing, or at least the remake of it anyway. Some very sort of effective makeup and effects where basically bodies are can kind of contorting when they're getting affected. The thing that makes this film more disturbing, I would say, to, than a lot of horror films is when these when these sort of victims are getting infected, they're not so much turning evil as they're simply getting overtaken by this kind of uh, this driving force of this sort of virus, but they're still alive initially, and they're they're kind of still aware of what's going on and we see some some bodies sort of like snapping and contorting and until they're actually it gets, it gets to a fatal wound these people have no control about what they're doing and it just looks so painful what they go through i have to say it's, it's very much oh you're kind of looking at it thinking oh that that looks bad it's a very very effective horror film it's fantastic use of special effects here and pretty much they're all practical so that's you know if you're a fan of that sort of you know, style of horror film, you're going to really get a kick out of this film. If I had to sort of pick any holes in it, really, I would say that the, the premise is fairly simple. There's not a lot of, of, of plot here, to be honest with you, but I don't think it needs to be. I think some of the most effective films can actually be one of the most simple storylines, and this is a good example of that. And I guess the only other thing I would say, sometimes the camera gets a little bit too shaky for its own goods, particularly in the, in the sort of uh, the attack scene, so to speak. But to be honest with you, that's really the only negative thing I've got to say about this film. I think it's a really decent horror film. I think the acting and the chemistry is really good. Uh, a mild spoiler here, I suppose. One of the things I liked about it as well that I kind of want to just mention is the actual group of people that we see. Now, obviously, I've mentioned that we've got these two people on and they're away for the weekend. And obviously, we've got these criminals as well. And at first, you think these criminals are pretty much assholes. But by the end of it, they, they, you, you really see them grow as a character and they're actually kind of bond with the kind of the, the two sort of victims ultimately. And I thought that was really, really good characterization to, to try and get these, these people who you, you know are criminals, but you kind of end up caring for them at the end. So I really love this film. I think it's a fantastic horror film. Uh, certainly one that I think deserves a bit more accolade than it can have got. It kind of seems to have disappeared a little bit and not a lot of people really talk about it, I don't think. But I think it is a really decent film. So I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. If you like your kind of like your body horror films, go check it out and let me know what you think. Bye for now.